What's going on, guys? Can you kind of take us through the emotions of the, the hug outside the locker room with John Lynch and just what it was like in there and what you're feeling? Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, like you'd imagine, it was tough. But, uh, you know, hell of a game out there. I mean, that was, it's a good team. Tip your hat to the Rams, but, you know, it, it was an emotional locker room, like, like you'd expect. But it's, uh, you know, it's a tough one. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just I love this team. I've said it before to you guys, but just everything we've been through, uh, starting with the off season into training camp. I mean, it was a roller coaster every year. It really was, but uh, we fought through it. I mean, good teams. We're a resilient team, and that's what good teams do. You fight through things like that and come up better on the other end from it. Jimmy, Jimmy you've been very on really well the last few years for sure. What happened in the last two series? You have a delay. You have obviously the interception. What was going on in those last two series? Yeah, uh, just you know some bad execution. Uh, some, you know, it just didn't, didn't work out the way we wanted it to. Uh, I mean, there's a million things. I won't get into all of them, but uh, yeah, it was just as a tough way to end it. You know, especially just the way we battled that whole game. It was, you know. We knew it was going to be a dogfight. It always is against these guys, and you know it's a tough one. You've been, you've been very honest about how any of these games could be your, potentially your last one with the Niners. How much does that those emotions seep in in a moment like this? Uh, I mean, they, they hit pretty hard in the locker room. I think uh, these next couple of days will really start to settle in a little bit. You know, emotions are high after a game, win or loss, and it's just uh, it's one of those things you got to be you know glad it happened. Just you know, smile from it and think about the good things. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens in these next couple of days, weeks, whatever. But you know, I love this team. Just the the fight and the battle in this team throughout the entire year has been really impressive, and I love those guys. You know, how, you know how difficult it is to get to the Super Bowl. How, how does this feeling, this loss, compare to anything you've experienced in your career? Uh, it's tough. It's tough. It's uh, probably a little different than most of them. Just how much we put into this year. You know, guys. Uh, I mean, since the last time we played the Rams, the, the injury list that guys have played through during the playoffs, this, this run, it's, it's insane. And I'm sure every team's going through it, but you just, when, you know, when it's your team and you're in it with them, you see it firsthand, just guys battling through stuff. Trent Williams, Elijah Mitchell, and the list goes Debo, the list goes on and on. It's, it's impressive what, you know, what we accomplished and you know, obviously it came up short, but it was, it was a fun year. Yeah, they uh, they had a couple new things, new uh, new tweaks in the in the run game. Uh, coverages were a little different too, but I mean, when you play a team for the third time, you gotta expect something like that, and it, it worked pretty well for them. What was the second part? The decision to punt on fourth and two. How do you feel about that? Uh, that's that's not my decision to make. You know, whatever whatever Kyle decides, it's it's his his choice. Manage. I mean, the fact that, like, you know, there's an expectation that there's a ticking clock. That this is your last year, and you go through all. That. How did you just manage that day to day and week to week? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A uh, lot of good people around me. A lot of good people in this organization, players, uh, just people in general. But just surround yourself with good people, and you know, good things will take care of themselves. Couple more. Couple more. Say it again. Sorry. How unique and special is this roster? It's very unique. Uh, I'm sure every team, you know, kind of says that a little bit. But when you meet these guys and, and get to know them, love them like brothers, it's a uh, it's a great group. It's a great group. Love being with them every day, battling, fighting, going to war with these guys. It was it was a fun year. Debo had a couple of good, really nice, big plays. But uh, how do you feel his effectiveness overall and how he was used by the offense today? Today, I thought it was good. Uh, you know, tip your hat to that guy. He, his conditioning is outrageous to do what he does. Kickoff return, running back, receiver, everything. Uh, I mean, he had an incredible catch and run today on that screen. I thought he played his ass off. He has all, all playoffs, all season. Just he's one of those guys I love to have in my foxhole. Jimmy, you said last one, better of fun years. Is that just basically based off the last three wins, kind of really exemplify that, how you guys pulled it out? I mean, nobody was really necessarily <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's kind of it's just uh that's kind of our year in a nutshell. You know, we were three and five at one point. People wrote us off, uh and we just kept fighting. 
It's what good teams do. It's what tight brothers do. And, you know, I got no regrets from this year. Thanks, guys.